How bad has it gotten with you and needles? With the patient? Like, give us a... Um, so interestingly enough, um, Saturday I had a couple come in. The wife made appointments for her and her husband. Uh oh. And <laughs> he literally cut all the way up. I what? was so surprised. Um, he so and I, I, I was I was very I, I thought he was playing. <laughs> wait 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 wait. Now what do you mean cut up? Like what what? He was acting out. He was acting. All what the way I up. mean was like, it like? Well, he was scared. He, he was, was scared. He was up out the chair. Oh he no! Still. He kept like moving. He was like trying to grab my hand. <laughs> I was like. Oh. <laughs> I was like oh, you know why? I said this isn't for everybody, and she was like, Oh no, he's getting it. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! See see now 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 she now. Him to get it. Now. She forced him to get it? It's not that she forced him to get it. Listen, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So the wife... Happy wife, happy, happy life. life. She's a nurse and she knew what her husband needed. It just, he needed to get over the hurdle. The crazy thing was, after I had given him the injection, mm -hmm. he then said, you know what? I didn't even feel it. Wow. So he did all that. Wow. So he did all that cutting up. For nothing. Mm -mm -mm. I said, which means you need another one. He's like, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I got over this one. We good. Yeah. But <laughs> start the car. You know, things happen. Like, you know, it, things can happen. Like, some people don't have great veins. Um, right. Right. I remember, some, remember, remember, I told you about yeah. that. My mother, she went. Well, this was this is during the time when they had like the student nurses, mm -hmm. and and I had pneumonia at the time. So he tried to come. You know, he tapped my vein. He came back three minutes later. <laughs> Took some more. By the time we got to the third time, I'm woozy at this point. I'm just, <laughs> just like whatever, nigga. <laughs> My mother's like, "Yo, what's going on?" He's like, well, "I couldn't find." It. She said, "The third time you couldn't find a vein. Well, go get another doctor." And which they did, yeah. So we um, in the hospital, we have a two stick minimum, uh, a two stick maximum. Two stick maximum. <laughs> <laughs> What happens after that? You got to call somebody else? You get someone else. See? Just, just as a courtesy. Yeah, see? See? Um, I definitely had someone who, she came in, she was dehydrated. She told me, I, my veins are terrible. And mm. I did stick her three times. Damn. Um, <laughs> she said, I did. She was, because she, you know, she was like, no, no. It, she's like, it's fine. No, she was used to it. And she was used to it. Okay. You know, I was putting, you know, and there are little tricks that we do. You squeeze a squeeze ball. You put a hot pack on it. You right. know, there's different things. And she was like, they done that. They did, they did that. She said they tried that. <laughs> so then when I got it, she was like, thank God you got it. And I was like, I'm so sorry. She's like, no, like sometimes they, you know, it's, it's several people before they get it. Like, mm -hmm. you know, veins are very different. And you don't know until you go in. Sometimes people have what they call rolling veins. So okay. even though you, you know, you, you've done all the prep, you could see it, you can feel it, you palpate it, it bounces back. It's a perfect vein. But when you go to access it, it kind of rolls.